Woo! Part two, baby! More great songs from Otto! Today we have Fleeting Lullaby, Tot Musica, The World's Continuation, and my plugin for Patreon, baby. <laughs> Wanna watch my reaction to these music videos? And the full album? Well, my reactions to all of that is available to you on Patreon right now, baby. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. <sighs> that was nice and relaxing. But now... It's not time for that! It's time to listen to more of Ido's versatile rainbow-like voice. Yeah, there's more of the rainbow with her voice in this album. <laughs> and we will start it off with Fleeting Lullaby. Screw singing the song in a karaoke. Otto's overwhelming technique of their voice would embarrass me if I tried to sing it. I would give up. But this is probably the best song in the album that showcases Otto's overwhelming unique technique of their vocals. Like a bruh. Listen. I have never heard an artist with this much vocal range, power, and flexibility. She has the ability to be five different people in the same song, and the song will still come out as an organized and non-cluttered masterpiece. And we see that in this song. I seriously don't know how she does it. It's like her voice is associated with the color purple in this song because of how creative it is. It's impressive, and whoever can sing like this in karaoke is like also extremely like talented. <laughs> I'd be here like this. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Yeah, but also I still can't sing. <laughs> But this song is a fun madness that you can't get sick of. It is absolutely invigorating how versatile it is. But this madness can also factor into the song's meaning, which is about the new generation needs to not be caught up in the old generation's madness. Got to clean up this brainwash, don't let him tell you lies. Heads up, let my song clear your senses. If you watch the music video closely, you can feel the high level of Uta running away from madness of the old society in the first half and dancing with madness in the second half like she's in control of it. The fuck? I feel like Ado goes through a packet of lozenges at the end of each session in the studio. Cause goddamn, her voice must hurt from this raspiness that she is constantly giving us in these songs, which is absolutely amazing. And in Tot Musica, it is phenomenal the amount of raspiness we get. But this dark, heavy song hooks you in immediately because of Ado's powerful vocals syncing perfectly with the dark, heavy atmosphere of the song. And I believe this song is a continuation of the previous song's meaning, but more desperate. Just like a fallen angel, the irreversible suffering, the expressiveness of darkness in the heart, which makes it eerie and scary, but there's beauty inside of it. But just like Backlight, we get another showcase of Ardo's red voice of rage, but more desperate, and I love it. Ardo can sing any concept, and I will support it. If she wants to yodel, she can yodel away. I'm here to support that, okay? And the next song in this album, The World's Continuation, was the song that made Ardo one of my favorite artists of all time. <laughs> That right there was the indication I needed to confirm Ardo would be in my top tier list of musical artists. A beautiful, soft, creamy voice that soothes your heart after all this intense and amazing hardship that Ardo went through in this album. And it's beautiful. One of my favorite songs in this whole album. Being able to hear Ardo's voice in such a majestic tone from start to end is just what I needed. Now I might be the odd one here because of this song being my favorite from the album, but being able to hear this soft from Ardo just melts my heart like a marshmallow over a warm flame. So sweet and delicious. I just want the soft flames to be constantly reaching me when I listen to this song and I never want it to end. Actually, I don't want this album to end. 
but next week is my last week of this album review where I'll be talking about the last two songs and then my overall thoughts of this album but yeah thank you all for watching this video I hope you guys did enjoy it is a bit weird for me right now because I am blind as fuck like my glasses on I can see glasses off can't see but I just wanted to not wear glasses today. It's been a while. But seriously, this album is so refreshing. It's like I'm getting like a new main dish after main dish after main dish. And I can't wait to talk about it next week with the last two songs. It's going to be a bit interesting, especially with the yo ho ho, yo ho ho ho. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Comment down below your favorite song so far that I have talked about in this album review series and i hope you all have a great day keep smiling be safe out there because i don't want you to get sick and uh yeah other than that face